Okay, so the first game is the the tres al, qua, al cuarto Spanish adjective phrase of low value, quality, or, or importance. Something so cheap that you could literally buy three for a quarter. The studio that makes these games is the studio from the Red Strings Club. I mean, Red Strings Club is a very good game, like a very very good game. And these are like three indie games on each IO, so. You know, might as well try it. I'm not sure if I'll often play games like these, but hey, I said that you guys can request whatever you want me to play, so I'm a fanboy of my word. Okay, but on that note, let's get started. Ah shit, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> it's alright, I don't think a lot of people have come to see us anyway. We're just the opener. Dude, I just don't want to disappoint you. Ah, you won't. Stick to the material. And even if you fuck up on improvised a bit, it's alright, we have 10 more shows ahead of us. You'll get the hang of it eventually. Okay, okay. You want to go over the routine one more time? Yes, please. Alright, here's the deal. Oh no, we have to do a rhythm game. Really? If you play a punch card, you'll execute the ideal punch... Wait, are they like comedians or are they like musicians? If you play a punch card, you'll execute the ideal punchline and then earn points. If you play a poor card, you'll answer with an improvised line of lesser quality, earning you half the points. If you play a build card, you'll extend a joke and bona... Bonache, bonachera... Bonachera... I don't know what language it is, so I don't know how to pronounce it. I mean, even if I knew what language it is, I wouldn't know how to pronounce it, so... And bonachera will offer additional setups that will allow you to potentially earn extra points. You can only play a maximum of three build-ups until bonachera runs out of material. If you play a fourth... If you play a fourth build card, it will be the same as playing a blank card. Avoid playing blank cards. If you play a blank card, guards will get nervous and fuck up the joke. Okay. But sure. It's time, let's break a leg out there. Hello everyone, thank you for coming. This handsome fellow next to me is Garza. He'll be in charge of putting some smiles on your faces tonight. And this geezer up past his best name is Bonakera, and together we'll try to make it this show work in spite of him. Hey! We are the tres al cuarto. Good grief. Anyway. Listen, I want to confess something to you. I've been living with a polyamorous trio for three months now. And we only get poor cards. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Polyamorous trio, uh, that's a Pokemon, right? Uh, I think I like that one the best. Uh, poly Polyamorous trio, uh, that's a Pokemon, right? Hey, Garza, the other day at the party I told the sex robot about you and she's interested in meeting up. Okay, let's build that joke. Mm. My dude, you know I'm not into the into chicks even if they plug into the wall at night. That's she meant kids, I have my hands full with a Tamagotchi and them. <laughs> okay, that's good. I like that. <laughs> that's she meant kids? You know I have my hands full with a Tamagotchi at the time. No other thing is she comes with mod support, so you can set up her set her up to your preferences. Okay, good punchline. Oh that's <laughs> Okay, these are bad. This is supposed to be the good punchline, and these are bad. <laughs> okay, sure, I want to, to try the right... Right racing. Listen, last night I met a business angel that offered me a hundred million dollars to start our own fast food chain. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> these are bad. Will we get like better comedic material at some point? Because these these aren't good. <laughs> what kind of food do you think we should be serving? What? These aren't jokes. <laughs> McDonald. Sure. Oh, dude! I saw on Instagram that you won the karaoke competition. Congratulations. <laughs> no sweat, Dvorak's New World Symphony is always a winning choice. See, that's kind of funny. Hmm, it looks like there's a lady in the back signaling something to us. What's she trying to say? Let's go for you've touched the audience long enough. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, time for some proper artists to get on stage. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Okay. So, is it based around, like, us doing those shows? But what's the story, then? Thanks for putting up with me, dude. 
You've got what it takes. You're gonna get better, trust me. But what do you want to do tonight? Uh, sure, I stroll on the beach. But nobody laughed. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really laugh either, so... Uh, Garza is overplaying his disappointment to draw out some caring words from Bonacera. Also, we have like the... What they say and what they're thinking. Interesting. Man, we suck hard. Hey, where did that come from? I'm sorry, that was unfair. What I meant is that I suck hard. Come on, you don't. You're super charismatic. Give it some, give it some time. Monakera is afraid that Garza will never get to a good level, but he hopes that some encouragement will put him in the right direction. Aww. Aww. I don't know. You're an amazing writer, but I keep getting nervous on stage and going off script. Ah, I love that about you. Makes every show so fresh. I'm sure eventually that wild card nature of yours will become a fine asset. You think so? I can't shake the feeling you were better off with your old partner. Again with that? I wouldn't go back for a million dollars. I told you a thousand times. Actually, for a million dollars he may consider it. <laughs> it's so unfair that Martin got the TV deal, a big part of his appeal were the lines he wrote for him. Nah, his body acting was out of my league, his talents were going to waste with my small time jokes. I watched a couple of episodes of his new TV show and he's better off with an elite team of TV writers, believe me. Garza doesn't think Martin's new show is any good. Okay. I don't know, I think he should have fought to bring you on board as a writer at least. Hey, I'm the one supposed to be sorry about all that. Why do you keep obsessing about Martin? But writing for a TV is really different, I'm not even sure I would have enjoyed that. I like being on stage too much. Yeah man, your presence is otherworldly. Uh, in a parallel universe, Bonacara is writing for, for TV and he is in fact unhappy. <laughs> Shut up. I mean it. In any case, it's only natural I obsess over Martin, it's my duty to, to fill his shoes after all. You're no one's replacement. You're your own kind of artist. That's why I decided to get rid of all the material I wrote for Martin. You inspire me in a very different way. I'm having a great time. Isn't that what all this is about? That's true, Bonacara is having a great time. He loves working with Garza. Haha, <laughs> maybe. I'm having a great time too, despite everything. You just focus on having fun, trust me. Joy is a contagious beast. If you manage to be comfortable on stage, the audience will vibe with you. I'll do my best. Thanks. Okay. Well, let's get to... Oh! Oh, this is like our resource that we earn, so we cannot afford anything right now. And this costs a lot. Okay. Are we only performing on one stage? <laughs> Let me d review the material. I'll be ready in a sec. Okay, take your time. Oh. So we cannot afford to do anything. Cool. Alright, I'm ready. Let's break a leg. I might just gonna get like the worst uh, ending immediately. Okay. Will they have the same jokes? Yep. Yep. Ah, got it. Where does this show currency? I don't think we. Wait, no. Here we have the. Uh, oh, god damn it. Okay. Mm, it's gonna work better with me in this corner, I think. Hi. Uh. So. Here in the top left, we have the current currency. <laughs> uh, and here on the right, we have, I think, how much we can earn from a given round. I'm not sure. Ah, Garza, do you remember when times were simpler? Ah, I miss being a kid. Mm. I don't really miss all the chanting. Do the same things. I guess I don't really miss all the chanting, and the gold blood was so disgusting. What? What kind of childhood did you have, man? Don't answer. I'm not sure you even want to know about it. This is getting too dark. I know, let's switch it to playground memories. I love playing hide and seek. What about you? Hmm. What? Why are our answers so bad? Is the idea of the game that we're just bad at comedy and it's not gonna work? Uh. Sure, competitive beauty pageant, pageant scene. Come on, what kind of parents did you have? 
Sure, punchline. I don't know, my parents are... Like... This is bad. Why aren't we supposed to improve and not get worse? Uh, I guess the second one is the most funny, because, like, you know, we're making a joke about us and the guy. Yeah. I was born and raised in a circus, that's why I keep associating with clowns. Okay, I guess this works. Gar Garza, have you heard about what the gentleman over there in the third row fished out of the sea the other day? Uh... Uh... <laughs> His dignity? You're glowing today, sir. <laughs> right, that, that turned us nothing. Garza, the other day your mother called me, she was pretty worried. She was standing in the garden and found a buried chest full of dolls with nails in their eyes. You wanna have to know what it's all that about. That's also not funny. Sure, let's build. Uh, why is she worried? How else are you supposed to fend off witches? I don't know. Uh, don't you think it's too similar to what that serial killer did to those teenagers back in town during the 90s? Let's build again, let's go! Permadev Delphi. <laughs> Uh, it's nothing to worry about, really, the devil will just fun art. Okay, and a bad punchline. Sure. The murderer is always the battery and I don't even have a on the waistcoat. That's kind of funny, yeah, it's like... Okay. Oh, that's not the end, okay. Well, folks in the audience, it's time I let you all know about Garza's broken taste buds. Uh, croissants in tequila, mustard with cereal, curry with coffee. Coffee with curry, I guess. Um, uh, I think mustard in cereal is like the worst of these, right? Because like curry and coffee, like you can have some coffee which is like with... Uh, with spices, so that's not like the most outrageous thing. Croissants in tequila, that's just weird, but it's like, you know, just, I don't know, sweet and alcohol. But mustard in, with cereal, I think that's just bad. Yeah. Hey, it's not my fault you're not mature enough to deal with a bit of mustard in your cereal. One coin. Okay. That's the end, I guess. I guess we did earn more inspiration points. I thought that was worse, honestly. <laughs> I thought that was a little worse. <laughs> My legs are shaking. You did fine enough. Well, what do you want to do tonight? Sure, let's just go back to the hotel. Aww. I'll cut them go. Sorry I wanted to come back to our room, but man, I'm drained today. It's alright. It's important to rest too. Menorca is so beautiful, it feels like a way to go straight back to the hotel. Next time, instead of going straight to the hotel, we can try going gay. Haha, <laughs> <sighs> 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 two out of ten. They are both pooped, so this was the right call. Garza thinks the joke may actually be a six out of ten, but the dynamic doesn't let him acknowledge Bonakera's spontaneity that easily. <laughs> I'm sorry, always creating, haha. <laughs> You're right, though, about the beauty of this island. Hmm, we don't have another gig until a couple of weeks after this one. What do you say we stay a bit longer and enjoy some days just ki kicking back on the beach? Oh, that would be amazing. Do we have the money for that, though? Budget is pretty tight, yes. We can move out of the hotel and do some cheap camping for a change. Hmm, that sounds adventurous. I like it. Garza imagines making love inside the tent and gets excited. <laughs> okay, I hope I won't have to, like, suddenly shut off the stream because it's gonna be inappropriate. Okay. I heard there are hippie communes in some of this island's coves. They welcome just about anyone with a backpack. Hmm, huh. two adventures maybe? You think so? I say you, you look the part. <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? We could even ease our way in by offering them some of the shit ton of weed you miraculously managed to sneak over the ship we caught here. Okay, I do look and match the part. In any case, we could always try to step our game and see if we can live off the tips from the show for a few days. 
Wow, what a cunning bastard. That was always an easy way to put some pressure on me, wasn't it? <laughs> Loki threatening me with a hippie cover with a hippie cove if I don't put on a good show. Well done. Am I good, coach, or what? That's a new low for you. <laughs> I was just teasing you. Although now I'm really tempted to try and visit some of those hippie settlements. If they ever decided to go to the cove, they make some lifelong friends and enter a polyamorous relationship with a Greek sculpt with a Greek sculptor who would years later become rich and famous. What? My gut tells me it might be a great opportunity to develop some new material for our show. You're drunk. Let's catch some sleep. <laughs> ah, alright, alright. Okay, so let's not unlock anything, but we can improve something. Right. So do we improve a blank to a poor? Or maybe just destroy a blank? Hire a dev to constantly monitor your streams. <laughs> uh. Hey, one day when I become rich and famous, like that Greek, Greek sculptor, uh, do we destroy a blank or do we upgrade a blank to a poor? I feel like we might as well destroy it, but I don't know. If you upgrade, then you can upgrade again later, maybe. Okay, then let's upgrade this time, but I also want to d destroy one of them. Because, like, just looking at this, I feel like there's too many of them. And yeah, it seems like we can, like, keep on upgrading them, so, good. I'm assuming the intro is the same. Yep, yep. Do you think we'll ever manage to make a living with our comedy? Mm. Mm. Uh. You were trying to be funny all this time? I thought we were doing a TED talk. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Yeah, that got, got us a little bit of applause. Don't you think you smoke way too much? Oh, uh, wait, no, we can, we can build? Okay. You don't know how hard it was to switch from sniffing glue to mari <laughs> marijuana. You're right, but it's really hard to get rid of childhood habits. How else do you think I should deal with the pressure of being the only funny guy? Uh, I think it's this one. You know, I asked my therapist about your unhealthy habits and she told me it could be a consequence of not having been breastfed. You keep needing to suck on something. Let's keep on building. Uh, oh god, what? <laughs> No, no, I hate all of these, okay. It's true, I'll never forgive my mom for running that breast milk cafe. There was barely anything left for me at the end of the day. I don't know, I'm worried, Garza. You know, I heard self-hypnosis breast milk cafe. Yeah, all of... Oh, God. See, this was what I was scared of. Okay. I'm like a little commotive, choo-choo. Uh -huh. Yeah, we lost everything. Garza, my family keeps busting my balls, telling me I'm too fat. Do you have any workout advice so I could get a bite like yours? Mm. Mm. I guess the last one, right? Uh, no, 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 there can't be two skinny guys in the comedy duo. I mean, that's kind of a mean joke, but like... I don't know. Because the second one is like kind of real, because if he's just on a like low-carb diet, then it's like... That's how you learn to hate food. <laughs> and you even lost a device from Windows. Yeah, something disconnected. I wonder what. <laughs> Listen, Garza, you know how I'm always ranting about how crappy our educational system is. The thing is, I'm done crying. I want to do something about it. Let's build an alternative school for children with a focus on creativity. That's just a good idea. Why is that a joke? Uh... And see, now the answers are bad. Uh, I guess, this one. I'm serious, the Garza. I mean, the creative focus is not there to, to force kids to become artists, it's there to de so they develop a resourceful attitude towards anything they might want to take on. Why are they saying this in a comedy show? Maybe he is doing a TED talk after all? Okay. Uh, Hmm. <laughs> 
What skills do you think it's imperative to hone to successfully navigate the modern world? Reject humanity. Return to Monkey. <laughs> Somebody sneezed when we said that, okay. Return to Monkey. <laughs> it's the first good line so far. Okay, we barely earned anything, but we have enough to like upgrade one card, so I guess that's fine. Ah shit, my legs are sh okay. Hmm. Sweet steamy sex? No, thank you. I guess let's go to the bar. We haven't been yet. Sure. Hmm, tasty. What is this? It's called pomada, a local cocktail. Xorigrer Gin. Freshly squeezed lemon juice and lemon soda. I love it. Haha, take it easy. It can go to your head pretty fast. Who cares? It's not like we have to get up early in the morning or anything. Do you know how hard it is to get on stage with a hangover? As a matter of fact, I do. But didn't I tell you the secret's never been hungover? Never stop drinking, right? Ha ha ha, that's it. That's fun and all, but don't overdo it, alright? Dude, relax. We're on a beautiful island, having fun, making people laugh. I'd say it's the perfect environment to be wasted 24-7. I know what you mean, but what about the next gig? And the ones after that? If we get the ball rolling, we're always gonna be having fun and making people laugh. You're pretty new to comedy, but I've been around for a while and I know what alcohol can do to a good comedian. Come on, talk about ruining the mood, man. No, I mean, we'll go back to fun and games in a minute, don't worry. But let me get into this. As a comedian, you're usually gonna have a close relationship with the nightlife. Gigs are stressful, you need to blow off some steam and more often than not you're gonna be at a bar already. So have a couple of drinks with your partner, some colleague that maybe came to see you, some nice guys from the audience. There's always gonna be plenty of people around to join you for a drink and drive into the next pub. You're too hard to go to bed anyway, you might as well enjoy yourself. Before you realize it, you can't even go to bed without a nightcap. Oh wait, I wasn't reading this. If you ever go to Monarca, be sure to try it out. It's delicious. They have once in salt ice, say so in Battlestar Galactica. Okay, I don't know what this refers to. Uh, before you realize it, you can't even go to bed without a nightcap. Garzo secretly thinks it is impossible this will ever happen to him, but he will actually struggle with it in about five years. Uh, that sounds scary, yeah. Did you? Just sounds like you were talking from experience here. I've had my own battles against alcoholism, yes, but I think I managed to keep it in check somehow. Monakera has never had any trouble keeping the temptation at bay, he's pretty self-controlled, but he wants to cut through Garza's skepticism. I'm talking more about my old partner, Martin. He was a party animal, drinks, cocaine, you name it. Most days at his home and he'd stay up until sunrise with just whoever played ball. Hmm, I'm sorry. In a way, I'm happy we parted ways in the end. The TV show is doing him a lot of good. I mean, he has to get up early and do the shoots and doesn't have the, that many chances to go out. <laughs> Not as much temptation, at least. Right now, Martin is getting ready in his dressing room at the movie set in Oaxaca, sitting in front of a bag of cocaine, <laughs> deciding if it's better to do a line and drink some coffee. What the hell is this game? Oh, sorry. I'm glad. So that's why I got serious for a minute, sorry. I wouldn't want that to happen to you. I understand. Thanks for sharing, man. We'll take care of each other, alright? Absolutely. Now, knowing that we have each other's bags, what about another pomada? Ha ha ha, bring it on. Okay, and again, I don't think it's worth it to get new cards. And let's just upgrade ours instead. No, actually, I want to de delete one card. I want to delete one blank. Because I got scared of... Uh, getting three blanks last time. So with this, we should only have like a lower chance. I don't know. I don't know maps. Yes, hello. He is handsome and you're a geezer that's past your bedtime. Imagine if somebody like... Uh, came to two of their shows and noticed that they're doing the exact same opening every time. <laughs> Listen, I want to cos confess some... No, you are doing the same jokes, okay. <laughs> Listen, I want to confess something to you. I've been living with a... 
polyamorous trio for three months now. Uh, you're always very good with math, I guess. Hey Garza, the other day at No, they're 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 using jokes. Okay. <sighs> okay. This is no points, yeah. A business angel. Oh, this was the fat Again we get free blanks. God damn it. <laughs> this is not going great. Okay. Oh we can build. Whoa, dude, I saw on Instagram... How unlucky, yeah. Whoa, dude, I saw on Instagram that you won the karaoke competition. Congratulations. Uh, thanks, to be honest, I didn't think I stood a chance, I guess. I was trying my best, but kids kept getting on the stage and yelling at, at me to let it go, let it go. Oh man, that's tough. What did you sing anyway? Okay, and a good punchline, come on. Eminem, but sing Mom's Spaghetti for every lyric? Nyan ha I, I think the first one, like just performing a YouTube meme live on stage. Sure. I mean, I'm but saying Mom's Spaghetti for every lyric works like a charm. I mean, that's not really a good punchline, but like nothing was, so. Wait, that's the end of the show? Oh no. Oh no. We didn't even get enough points for anything this time. Damn. Kinda rip, but okay. No sex, come on. <laughs> come on, Garza. Mm, sure, football. Vine boom sound. <laughs> yeah, let's play football. Hey, no stopping the ball in front of the goalkeeper. What? Ch changing the ball between forwards is the best part of fo 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 football in. Football in Spanish for football was invented by Galician poet Alejandro Finisterre during the Spanish Civil War so wounded kids who didn't get to play football could enjoy themselves. Oh, that's cute. In Valencia, you couldn't stop the ball. You either hit the wall or pass it back to the middle. But over time, different regions have developed different rules. That is so lame. The game has already a set of physical constraints. You just make the most out of them. Learn to properly cover the goal and shut up. <laughs> what are the local rules in Menorca? In Menorca, it's okay to stop the ball, so suck it up. <laughs> bah, you're right. Play however you want. You're not gonna beat me anyway. I didn't fail philosophy three times at high school for nothing. I wish I had philosophy in high school. Come on. Haha, <laughs> did you also skip classes to play f f f I don't know how to pronounce this. Football in. Of course, you can't become a proper adult otherwise. I must be a magnificent adult then because I spent half of my credits at law school getting high and playing football in. Whoa, that's hardcore. How did you manage to graduate? I didn't. I told you. I've gone through five years of law school. I never mentioned anything about becoming an actual lawyer. Amazing. Well, let then, well then, let the clash of dropouts begin. Wait, you didn't even finish high school? Nope. After wasting three years of my life there, my father got fed up with me and put me to work in his pawn shop. But Nakera didn't attend his father's funeral. He will always resent him for being too tough on him and never accepting that his son was gay. Aww. Aww. Oh, that's tough. Do you ever feel like a letdown? At first, yes. Especially after my parents made clear how disappointed they were in me. Even if they weren't schooled, schooled to begin with. I'm sorry, that must have been traumatic. It just... I still can't shake off the feeling of being a failure for having dropped out of uni. In hindsight, I'd say I'm happy though. Studying made me pretty miserable. If by any chance I ended up at the university, I feel like it would have turned out to be a pretty sad adult. You think so? Yeah, man. Our academic system is broken. Kids should be taught the means to learn and develop whatever aptitude they're drawn to. Right now the system only awards memory, not actual talents. Ah, shut up, you're triggering my PTSD from law school. Garza briefly considers how it wouldn't be okay to joke about PTSD on stage and feels oppressed by political correctness, but then reflects on how much homophobic jokes have hurt him through the years and feels determined to try and never hurt anyone with his act. Aww, cute. Luckily, nature blessed us with clown attributes, so we can stumble through life. Hey, man, there are too many lawyers anyway. Too poor to get cards. 
the portal upgrade cards. Too poor for anything. Hopefully, we'll be a bit more lucky this time. Yeah, it's eight now? Eight for anything? God damn. Okay. Not doing great, are we? Okay. Same opening. What what did you clip? I'm scared. No sex, come on. <laughs> oh, you clipped it so good that a Windows thing disconnected. Okay. <laughs> uh, we are the Tres al Cuarto. Do you remember when times were simpler? I was being a kid. Windows also says no. Uh, wait. You bet I can't find Paw Patrol pajamas in my size? Can you believe my urologist told me to stop asking for candy after every visit? Do you know how frustrating it is to be taken out of a bouncy castle by the police? I think the first one is the funniest, right? Sure. Have you heard... Oh. Okay, let's build this one. Uh, have you heard about what that gentleman over there in the fair draw fished out of the city the other day? Was it the child we amounted in the basket when we first got here? I take it for our show. Ooh, those are both good. I kind of like this one, yeah. By the look of, on his face, I'm gonna get... I don't know how to read. By the look of, on, by the look on his face, I'm gonna guess. A ticket for our show? Uh, no, guards, let me finish. He got a fine looking black base. Congrats, sir. The weird part is that he had some false teeth in his mouth. Let's keep on building. I don't know, that sounds fishy. Are you sure you didn't just look in the hook a mirror? Okay. And a good punchline. Oh my god, we're gonna get like six? Or just three? I don't know how it works. Uh, you gotta see it, it's, it's uncanny. I've heard they want to put it on display in the local museum. Oh, do you think he's gonna steal our show? Do you have its number? A decent <laughs> Hmm. I think the second one. Do you have its number? I've been looking for a decent comedy partner. It's far, I don't know how it works. Oh, sorry. Oh, those with nails. Uh, doesn't everyone have to do a demonic ritual to be a comedian? Okay, that's kind of funny, yeah. Uh, broken taste buds. Well, whatever we answer here, uh, we're not getting... What the... Okay. Yeah. At least we got enough to like, upgrade something, so... That's decent enough for me. Uh, do we let them go to the beach and smoke up, as they say? Mm, or do we just keep on going to the bar? Because we don't talk about the middle option. I pretend I do not see it. <laughs> sure, let's let's go to the beach, I guess. Consider the middle option. <laughs> but I don't want to have to, like, quickly... Co I can prepare, like, a black cover for this screen, just in case. Something um, appears. Your weed is too good. I know, right? It took five years of university to grow mari marijuana this good. We should write a number on how I got to hire my dealer as my comedy partner. It paid both for my studies and now our gig expenses. You'd be surprised how all this shit is staying among the islanders. Garza has made about 1,300 euros in just three days. Nice. Nice. We could say the crowd is getting laugh of our material in more than one, one way. Breaking the fourth wall one puff at a time. Haha. <laughs> Aren't you the one who's always talking about how to raise the quality of our jokes? Well, there you go, it can't get higher than this. 
<laughs> Garza feels paranoid that this joke was too bad and it may, and it may make Bonacera rethink their partnership. <laughs> hmm, if we want to turn this into a number, we better not be too blunt about it on stage or we could end up in the joint. <sighs> Bonacera's silly comeback puts Garza at ease. He writes of the paranoia as a side effect of the weed. Okay. In any case, I made you laugh. That's all there is when it comes to comedy. Ada secretly grows sweet and makes twice that money only for days. <sighs> no, Ada works in quality assurance, I promise. <laughs> Manakara feels like the weed is about to make him puke, but he decides to tough it out to avoid offending Garza, who puts a lot of work into growing it. Growing it. Growing it. Growing it. That's weird to say. Growing it. Growing it. <laughs> Way to go, getting a laugh at the expense of your dignity. Dignity? You're in the wrong business if you want to keep any of that. I mean, you need to draw a line some somewhere. It may not show, but it look, but it took me a lot to build a character this cool. Oh wow, absolutely, you're right. God forbid you lose your cool. Just imagine the headlines. Drug dealer turned comedian loses his dignity. <laughs> Garza is not really okay with the dealer joke, but he knows that Bonacara doesn't mean ill, so he tries to brush it off. We could get a poor card. Just... no. Or maybe a build? Because you don't have a lot of build. Okay, let's go for a build. He secretly means we need the assurance. Richie, stop exposing me. Come on. We have one point. One of them. I mean, I don't know, I feel like comedians should have like new material every time, not the same stuff. Living with our comedy? Okay, let's build. Mm. None of these are setups for a joke. Sure, comedy is not the means, it's the reward, we are already making it. Ah, Bonacera! Comedy is not the means, it's the reward, we are already making it. I'm serious, it's so frustrating. I mean, I watch a lot of Netflix comedy specials and I feel 90% of them are far from funny. What are we lacking to make it big? Being someone's son. Okay. Yes. Many comedians have pre-made shows, but they usually present them in different places. Oh, okay. Don't you think you smoke way too much? Oh, is that a new joke? No, it's not a new joke, okay. Uh, sure. You don't know how hard it was to switch from sniffing glue to marijuana? Mari I don't know how to, how, how to say it in English. Oh no, it's this joke again. Okay, wait, let's muff it out. I think if we get this one, we get four gold. But then if we have a poor punchline, it gets divided, so we get one gold. If we just do good punchline here, we still only get like two gold. So I think it accounts to about the same. To about the same. Um, sure. Okay. Please, okay. I mean, mathematically, I think it just ends up the same. I'm too scared to do it alone. What if I start speaking in Latin again? Sure. Workout advice? Okay, let's build. Oh, that's kind of cute. You already got a boyfriend, a fun job. Haven't you ever dreamt of becoming that kind of guy who can lift two people with just one arm? Mm. I... I guess? Oh, totally. That's why I wouldn't have lost my job as a dog walker. Marijuana. Or like, marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, educational system, okay. What do we get? 
a good punchline. Uh, let's build an alternative school for children with a focus on creativity. Yes, let's show those brats how miserable the creative life can get. Train a new generation, the women, competition is already too fierce. Kids need to learn real skills like what to consider a good TikTok video. Um, the... Because the third one is like, oh, hello fellow, fellow kids. Like, I, I don't think I like this one. Sure, let's make a joke that artists have it hard. Okay. Oh, swimming sounds nice. Okay, let's go swimming. Next time I can like put some precautions in place and then we can try the middle option, but for now we ignore the middle option and let's do the first one. Consider the middle option. <laughs> Listen. Okay, we can't afford anything. No, we have six and it still costs eight. Yep. <sighs> the polyamorous trio joke again. Okay. Sure, dinosaur. Whatever. We're not getting money for it anyway. Sex robot. Okay, let's build it up. Uh, I'm not sure I meet her minimum requirements. Uh, don't overthink it, she comes with mod support, so you can set her, set her up to your own preferences. Let's keep on building this joke. Maybe we can get something better. Uh, ask her if she's up for some Netflix in rest mode. Does she support ray tracing? What are you on about ray tracing? Like, all of his jokes will be about ray tracing. Okay, what did you say her terms and conditions were? That's kind of funny. She's an easygoing girl, just say next, next, and accept. <laughs> See? See, that's kind of a funny joke. Uh oh, we're still building it. Physical build up. Okay, and just a poor uh, punchline. That's cool, tell her I'll meet her in a Fortnite concert. Okay, I think I'll pass if only her gender wasn't that binary. What's up? Her last boyfriend was a Linux guy, huh? Uh, I guess the third one. I mean, all of them are like decent. I don't know. Okay, and four points, nice. Okay, it's the fast food thing. Just a poor punchline, so we can. Pick anything, doesn't really matter. Karaoke competition, okay. Uh, whoa, dude, I saw on Instagram that you won a karaoke competition. Congratulations. Not to brag, but I have a natural gift for martial arts. Oh, like you're uh, dyslexic and you think it's karate, okay. Took a lot of effort to nail the Simpsons. I think the dyslexia joke is. Although somebody could get offended by it, and he didn't want to offend anybody. Okay, sure. Thank you, man. Took a lot of effort to nail the Simpsons. <laughs> okay, and that's the end. So, if it's still the same, we're gonna consider the middle option, and I'm scared. I am absolutely terrified. I'd argue it's easier to have a difficult relationship with Windows and Linux. Linux usually is better at communi communicating. I've only used Linux once, like 12 years ago, so I wouldn't know, but I trust you. Uh, okay. We exhausted the first option, so let's try the second option. I'm gonna be ready on the quick draw with the, uh, with the sensor bar. <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna censor myself, so you get to enjoy some ADI ASMR. Okay, we're not gonna acquire a card. Hopefully, that's not what they pick, like, that's not the middle option every time. Okay, we can uncensor. We have 11 points. We could destroy one more, or we could upgrade one to a punch. I think we're gonna punch somebody, right? What's better than a punch? Oh, just a, like, 
Just a better punch, okay? Sure. Hello everyone, thank you for coming. Oh no, the intro is always the same, I forgot. Let's build up this joke. Uh, uh, I pretty much do the same things today as when I was a kid. I guess? Watch cartoons, eat my cereal, smoke my cigarettes. What kind of childhood did you have, man? Don't answer, I'm not sure I even want to know about it, this is getting too dark. Let's switch to playground memories, I love playing hide and seek, what about you? Oh, good punchline. Oh, me too, I was so good that even the FBI got involved once. The best part is when your grandma forgets you're there and goes to sleep. It's great when the police leave and you can come out with that stash. I mean, sure, the FBI. The gentleman fishing, sure, build up the joke. Okay, let's keep on building it up. That's gonna look terrifying inside the oven, sure. And keep on building it up. <laughs> Please, and we have a good punchline. Oh my god, we're gonna get like such a big like payout. Uh, uh sure. Eight points, Pog. We finally won. Your mother called me. She was pretty worried. She was in the garden and found a buried chest full of dolls with nails. Sure. Tell her to put them back in the ground or nothing's gonna grow. Okay. <laughs> oh, the taste buds? Damn it, we always have like a bad answer for this. I just secretly think that this was a small payout compared to his queen earnings. <laughs> uh, this is such a wild stream. What is going on? Okay. Please tell me the middle option is not like bad this time. Let's go and play some games at the hotel. I'm scared that that's like their code name for also the last middle option, so let's press it first and then check if I can uncensor it. Oh no, I think he actually has a game console. No middle option. No, okay. I think it's safe this time. Let's hope so at least. Bam, shield break. Wait, 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 who am I again? Oh, are they playing Smash Bros? You're the pink squishy ball. That's Kirby! Just call him by his name. He has a name. He has a name and it's Kirby. <laughs> Wait, I have another Kirby. I have the Chef Kirby. Uh, from the Chef stream that we did a while back. Kirby. <laughs> Pink squishy ball. Me, me, me. Smash. Shit, I'm flying away. How do I get back on stage? Your character can basically fly. Just smash the jump button and if you're falling short, just finish up with the upward special. What? When did video games get this hard? This game is pretty simple, you just need to put some time into it and you'll end up loving it, trust me. Gah, I don't know. Don't you have Tetris? By the way, video games rot your brain so there won't be any interesting insights during this scene. <laughs> okay. Kerb. Yeah. <laughs> Kerb. Okay, okay, let, let, let's switch to Tetris. It's so crazy that this little console can carry this many games and switch between them in a matter of seconds. Back in my day, we spent minutes waiting for a cassette to load, and every time they killed you, you had to... Not again with your ancient war stories. I still think that think games were way better back then. Life is complex enough. What I... When... Ada learned how to read. When I play, I just want to know what to kill or where to go. Shut up and play. Okay, okay, I'll teach you a thing or two about Tetris. Oh, the, the game actually changed on the screen. Oh, that's cute, actually. The attention to detail with, like, pixel art. 
Take that. What, what was that? I triggered my special, so you, now you can't rotate pieces for a few seconds. Come on, that's not fair. <laughs> I need to get rid of some latency, but I want to see this part, so I'll get rid of it later. Probably around when I see you read this, which for you is now, but for me, about 10 seconds in the future. Okay. <laughs> can't believe in, even Tetris got ruined. Video games have got, gone to shit. Dude, if you're gonna keep bitching about it, bring your C64. Is that Commodore 64? I'm not old enough to know those consoles. I think it's Commodore, right? Uh, bring your C64 with you next time. You know what? I might. What other games do you have? Haha, <laughs> you're hooked. I'm just curious. What about this one? The graphics might, might make you feel at home. The last door? What's it about? It's a horror adventure game. Are they promoting like another one of their games? I don't know all of their games, so like I can't tell. Whoa, what year was this released in? Not even my cassette games look this cheap. Haha, <laughs> it's called Minimalism, asshole. Shut up and play. Okay, we have 14 inspiration points. I still think it's a waste to get new cards, so let's just upgrade our like old ones. The Commodore 64 is actually a PC. Oh! See? That's why I said that. That's why I said I know nothing about them. Okay. Uh, I guess we might as well... It's 10 to upgrade now. Oh god. In that case, I'm just gonna destroy one blank. Although, I feel like this was a bad choice now. But still, 10! 10. 10 money! I don't have that much money. Okay, some intro. Let's see if we get any new lines this time. <laughs> Living with our comedy. Okay, let's build up. Uh, oh, you wanted to make money? Don't sweat it, I'll step up my game then. I'm serious, it's so frustrating, I mean. I watch a lot of Netflix comedy special and I feel 90% of them are far from funny. Secretly, Ada has loads of money. From going, we... No! No, Richie, stop exposing me. <laughs> I should change the title to, like, Weed Stream. Uh, what are we lacking to make it big? Not finding successful comedians funny is an indication of how out of touch we are. It's not that our jokes are bad, it's that people are stupid. Maybe the difference is that we don't make enough racist reference from big jokes. I don't like any of these that much. Let's pick the first one, I guess. Maybe the fact that you don't find successful comedians funny is an indication of how out of touch we are. Hmm, maybe we should plan our switching careers then. But I wouldn't want to give up being on stage. Any ideas? Without wasting most of our material, I'd say US congressman. <laughs> Motivational speakers, you can be the before and I'll be the after. Strip this at... Okay, I, I'll just say the first one. Okay, we have 10 monies. Uh, smoke way too much. Okay, build up. Hmm... Okay. No, it's this one again. Uh, I'm gonna pretend I don't see this one because I'm unco uncomfy with it. Do we keep on building up? Sure. And we get a good punchline again. Pog. Okay. You know, I heard self-hypnosis works wonders for quitting. I'm too scared to do it alone, couldn't you self-hypnotize me? I tried, but I always pass out after saying your eyelids feel heavy. I'm too pretty for self-hypnosis, I look at the start and I stare at my face. Okay, I guess the second one is funny. Eight money. Okay, workout advice. Okay, just the poor one, so... No money at all to be gained. Okay, the school one. And okay, one money. But we read that before, so I'm not gonna read it again. Okay. We'll see how much things cost, because at this point, I guess it would be like decent to get another build-up card. 
Sure, let's dance. Look at those moves! You like what you see, sure? <laughs> I n never pegged you for the dancing type. Haha, <laughs> you should have seen me in the 80s. I was a beast on the dance floor. Garza pictures Bonacera on the club like the one in Saturday Night Fever doing breakdance. No, that's not how it happened at all. Haha, <laughs> what I'd pay to see you for a time portal. I mean, I still have a lot of my signature moves. Show me. A couple more drinks and you may witness the beast. Ah, I wish, but we promise not to overdo it, remember? Look at Mr. Sensible now. Can't you just show me without being wasted? Ah, I don't know, I mean the beast may be too sexy for a bar like this. Haha, <laughs> why? Just the two of us dancing, you're not gonna bother anyone. I'm not so sure. I mean, if there was a girl here, I would oblige, but getting all sexy with you may get a bit risky. Flashes of Monachar's young self cross his mind, holding a cold soda can over his swollen face, walking alone to the hospital. What are you getting at, man? This is the 21st century, unleash the... I don't get this thing at all. I think it's because I, I'm i not good at social interactions in general, that, like, I just don't get people behaving like this. Bonachera vacuum. I'm afraid this elephant has be been beaten too many times over the decades to feel safe dancing anymore. You never know who you might be pissing off. We don't know the people here. Is that so? It's just, I've danced my dance... I've danced my dance stuff in Barcelona for years and never had a problem. Garza remembers... I'm just gonna, just in case, I'm gonna censor that anyway. <laughs> so, to sum up the scene, like, they were just sad about, you know, homophobia and stuff. And now we're back. Okay, and I wanted to upgrade this one. We still have three blanks. So there is a risk that we just get all blanks. But maybe we'll be fine, I don't know. Instead of through my own mistakes, I found car... Car... <laughs> car break dancing, you mean. <laughs> you say. How does that even work? Car break dancing, okay. Uh, same opening. Same jokes. Build it up. Uh, oh, we actually haven't built up this joke before because I don't remember it. Listen, I want to confess something to you. I've been living with a polyamorous trio for three months now. Oh, me too. I water it twice a day. It really ties the room together. That's what they call being a two timer nowadays, huh? What I heard is because I feel like you that some of us are alone. I like the first one, yeah. You don't understand. I'm in a relationship with two other boys and a girl, and we're all in love. It's the best. Let's keep on building it up. And how do you do it? You sleep in, a, in bunks? Oh, and how do you plan a date? Through board meetings? Well, so cool. How does someone apply? Do you hold auditions? <laughs> I guess the middle one. You don't want to know. The thing is, we're thinking about getting married. <laughs> car break dancing. Oh, no, I was hoping the car was break dancing, not the person. That's lame. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's lame. Just my expectations were so high to see a car break dancing. Mm, okay. I think at this point it's better to just do a punchline with this instead of hoping for the max payout. Uh, the thing is, we're thinking about getting married. My cousin is a priest, let me marry you all too, and he might give us a group discount. <laughs> Wouldn't it be easy to start a limited company? How does it work? You tag him when you say your vows. <laughs> Uh, okay, the last one. Oh damn, we could have like built up again. Oh well. Mm. This was the Tamagotchi line. And the punchline, sure. Just two, two points. And we also did all of this already, so... Could count your cards. Yes, but I don't know maths, so... <laughs> oh, we can build up the fast food one. Uh, 
Okay, quick, thanks everyone for coming. Please come to our gun opening. Slow down, idiot, it's the food that needs to be fast, not us. What kind of food do you think we should be serving? That depends how fast the food needs to be. Ostrich, cheetah, if you're talking speed, definitely hot dogs for a railgun. It doesn't matter as long as the conveyor belt goes over 90 miles per hour. Uh, I guess this one. I guess our average points, like, increased, but like... Okay, karaoke competition. Uh, sure. Railgun is the fastest food. Yes. <laughs> Let's keep on building up. Uh, what did you sing anyway? Mostly Shakira, some Italian buds, non, no, no wonder new Italian, so... Sure, mostly Shakira. Didn't really do just to the vocals, but I nailed the hip game. What, really? How did you even manage to win? Let's keep on building up. Also most deadly, which fits the fast food genre. <laughs> oh, and we got another full payout. Oh, it was an event at a retirement home? It was a close call between me and that war veteran with an electro larynx? See, yeah, dude, I'm still amazed I managed to beat all those middle schoolers. Sure, retirement home, I guess. <laughs> all the other contestants went to bed at 4pm, so I won't by default. Okay. And that's the end of this show, at least. I don't know how much more of the game there is. Oh. The options reset. Is this game just infinite? <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Sure, up for a drink. Are they gonna keep on saying new stuff or have we like exhausted it? Oh, okay, tomorrow's our last show. So we are getting somewhere. It all went by so fast. Didn't say, they say like 10 shows at the beginning? See? I told you, I don't know maths. <laughs> but yeah, there must have been something like, like this because now they're saying, yeah, it's the last show. It all went by so fast. Yeah. How are you feeling? Eh, uh, fine, of course. All's good. It didn't go by that fast. I mean, it was an hour and 20 minutes. Something is eating at you, I can tell. It's nothing. I'm just tired. Come on, lay it on me. Ah, fine. I wanted to wait until the show was over, but alright, here we go. This conversa conversation is so heartfelt, they're not leaving anything out for the hidden and the unknown. <gasps> wow. We're not good, man. We're still figuring out, out We're still figuring out our dynamic. We'll get better. Still, how good do you think we can get? Honestly, I don't see ourselves succeeding. Ah, success. That word. If you ask me, I say, I'd say we're already succeeding. Oh yeah? I may have missed all the fame and money. It just... We don't even have a thousand followers between us. Is that how you measure success? <laughs> Don't go telling me the important part is to make people laugh. Well, in a way, it is. I mean, money is not the measure of success. What is it then? Satisfaction. You could be buried in money and still feel miserable, trust me. Sounds pretty naive to me. I fare a lot better with a couple of extra zeros in my bank, bank account. Absolutely, who wouldn't? But money should be a high, should be a byproduct, not an objective. If it's fortune you're after, just find a job, become an un entrepreneur, I don't know. The reward of a creative life is the process, the life itself. If this is making you miserable, you should change paths. Do I have to choose, though? Can I pursue both creativity and money? What's with you and money, dude? Money is just the means, not the end. Money means absolutely nothing. Money is what you make of it. Alright, color marks. You keep dreaming and I'll make sure we don't starve. And that's what I call a team. Okay, we could get like one poor and then upgrade the card. I guess that makes the most sense. But also this feels like a waste now. Let's just go. And I feel like we should just make a new yeah, punch card. Or just destroy one. Or maybe upgrade a build. 
thinking, thinking. No, let's do a punch card. Just to make sure that most of our pun pun punch lines are good. At this point, it should be hard not to have a good punch line. Same opening, even for the last show. Do you remember when times were simpler? Okay. Uh, sure. And he says something like, oh, let's do remembering things or whatever. They have playground memories. Let's keep on building up. Oh no, this was the bad ones. This was the really bad jokes. Okay. Let's keep on building up. And... Oh no, we did this one already, okay. Sure. Boom. The gentleman fishing. We did, I think, the full thing of this as well. Oh, we haven't done this one, okay. The weird part is that it had some false teeth in its mouth. That black base sure was ready for the trophy photo. I've heard wonders about Spanish healthcare that fishermen can complain of fish and biting anymore. Okay, sure. Fish have dental. Uh, Alright, the chest full of dolls. Build up. Okay, so let's do this one. My niece is pretty hardcore and we like to play dolls with permadef en enabled. Don't you think it's just... Right. Build up. Build up. And the poor punchline, okay. Uh, and I think we did this one already, yep. Still decent, still decent. Master with cereal. We also did this one. Can we get any new line for the final show? Oh! Alright people, as you may know, this is our last night, our run of shows is coming to an end. Thank you to everyone who had come to see us and support us in any way. It's been delightful to spend a couple of weeks in this beautiful town. A round of applause for yourselves, come on. Now, with your permission, I want to step away from the comedy for a moment to perform in front of everyone here an act of love? I'm scared? <laughs> I've been planning this for a while now, I'm a bit nervous so I hope I don't fuck it up, haha. <gasps> Garza, will you marry me? Uh... Okay. Whoa, what a great idea. Kaldiv is on the white dress, though. You don't get it, Garza. This isn't some improv comedy bit. I am actually proposing. Do you want to become my husband? Huh, for real, this? You want me to marry me? Yes, I do. Please say yes. I love you. I love you so much. Aww. That, sure. Yes, I say yes. Aww. Thanks everyone for being witness to this magical moment. This is a memory we shall never forget, believe me. Again, thank you all for coming. I, I hope you had a great time and see you all soon. Have a great night. Husbands. <laughs> You're nuts, man. Haha, <laughs> I might be getting old after all. I'm still a bit in shock, to be honest. Is this for real? Do you really want to get married? Yeah. Garzan and Bona... Garzan and Bona... Bonacera. How did I pronounce it before? Bonacera? Garza and Bonacera, a family enterprise. What she told me the other day when we went dancing really stuck with me. I've been covering all my life. I want to leave my gayness out in the open. Nothing will make me happier than following this path with, my, with a loving husband by my side. Oh, I didn't read the Hidden and the Unknown. Garza is terrified he doesn't know how to tackle the conversation they're about to have. Bona Bonacera pictures himself as a loving housewife wearing a pink apron, taking care of the kids while baking a cake, then curses Hollywood for making picture an ideal family like that. What the hell? That's so sweet, man. I love you so much. You're basically my favorite person in the world. Ah, to think I'd get to feel these butterflies in my stomach in my 50s. But... I don't want to marry you. 
But Akira is suddenly able to hear his heart beating in his eardrums. You don't? I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want to marry you, but... Ah, you're breaking my heart. I understand if you're not ready to commit. I mean, I'll gladly ask you again sometime in the future. But you're the one. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I don't want to marry anyone. I don't believe in committing my heart to anybody. I love you and I wouldn't mind spending the rest of my life with you. I really wouldn't. You make me happy. I love living the life we're really living right now. But do we need to seal this with a contract? Ah, I just wanted to be romantic. I mean, if at some point we have to get divorced, it I won't be a pain in the ass, I swear. Truth is, at some point I would like to have children, adopt a kid, and I think we need to be married to make that happen. Garza's heartbeat joins the orchestra and starts banging at his eardrums too. <laughs> wow, wow, dude. I don't want to have children. You don't? I'm sorry. So, this is it. There's no future for us. No, I'm here, I love you. There's as much Garza here as you want. I just don't believe in marriage and I don't feel the need to have children. But that doesn't mean you should give up on the life you want to build. Well, does that mean you might reconsider in the future? Again, Bonakera gets bowled over by his suburban domestic fantasy. The perfect kids, the manicured loan, the smiles. What the heck? I don't think so. But you could still score a husband and have children, and I'll still be here and I'll still be here for you. I love you and if you and if your husband is hot enough and he's up for it, I'll be there for both of you. <laughs> you already escaped the heteronormative life. Why not why stick with a monogamous one? Oh shit, my head's spinning right now. Hey, you're the one who wrote some bits about poly stuff. Didn't this possibility ever cross your mind? You're making me feel like a dinosaur, man. I don't know what to say right now. I'll have to think about all this. Anyway, I'm here for you. I love you. I love you too. I love you three. They try to brush it off with comedy, even if they're both really afraid right now. But you know what? Garza and Monakara will love each other until the end of time and they're go both going to be happy. Aww. Our clan's allowed to have children anyway. <laughs> they make it work. Huh. That sure was something. 